Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've come to Tahiti Woods and we're going to walk to Patrice. Today's walk will take us through to Hiddy Woods, out to the coast and along the cliff path down to Patrice where there's a little harbour for us to explore. Today's walk comes from Shortish Walks and Ives to Padstow. It's walk number five to Hiddy. Our walk book today tells us to park in East Lodge Car Park at Tahiti Country Park. Take the middle path from the car park into a long band of sycamores. The path forks quite a lot and there are many possible routes through the trees. The instructions are very vague but if you just follow the path, you do eventually come to the golf course. Once you reach the golf course, you can follow the path. It's called Pine Walk, I believe. That's a view across to Hiddy Golf Course. So we've gone past the golf course and we're going up a gentle climb towards the North Coast Car Park. <laughs> Good boy! So we're walking through an area where there's lots and lots of badger sets. So that's presumably the entrance to an old set. They don't let you near the new ones. The ranger actually organises nighttime viewings of the badgers. It's the most glorious spring day, hardly a breath of wind. The sun is out through the dappled light of the trees. The bluebells are looking really, really pretty. Today's walk comes from Shortish Walks and Ives to Padstow. It's walk number five to Hiddy. Quick look at the map. So we parked at Eastern Lodge Car Park. We're going to go through to Hiddy Country Park, out to the coast and down to Patrice. Turning by secluded lanes to the car park. To Hiddy Country Park is now owned by the local council. So welcome to Te Hiddy, the largest area of woodland in West Cornwall. It used to be a large estate for a very, very wealthy mining family in this area called the Bassets. Te Hiddy is over nine miles of paths and 250 acres of peaceful woods and lakes to explore together with a cafe and picnic area. And Campbell Road Ruth, everywhere you look, there's a mine stack. Most of which seem to have been owned by the Bassets. They must have been so, so wealthy. Surrounded by trees, birds and bluebells. Wow, so pretty. Still a kid at heart then, Andrew, climbing trees. I'm logging. You alright? It's like, where's Wally? Where are you, boys? Come here. Come on. Yeah, you are wearing blue, aren't you? getting towards the end of April now. We've had a really long dry spell, about 10 or 12 days. Paths are lovely and dry, no need for walking boots today. But there is evidence that they do get muddy because there's some quite deep footprints left. I just adore the opening colour of sycamore leaves. They're such a, such a strong red. Beautiful. So the walking instructions tell us to go up through the car park and join the road. Continue to a road and turn right along it. Then after 50 metres, turn left onto a broad track towards the sea. At a roughly circular parking place, turn right onto the coast path and follow it to Patrice. So that's looking down towards Gadrivi Lighthouse. Days and days of high pressure has given us this beautiful calm sea. You can see right through it to the bottom. See the sand and the rocks. There are two consecutive steep valleys on the way. One down to Samphire Island and the other to Porthcadrick Cove. I think this is one of the tougher walks that we do. We have done it before. We kind of avoid it because the ups and downs are, are pretty strenuous. <laughs> Let's hope they're not as bad as I remember. Glorious day. Beautiful. So we're going to go down one side of the valley and up the other. It looks quite steep. Path looks good. So there's a walker down at the bottom of the valley there. It gives you some perspective of just how steep this is. It is virtually vertical. I think it's jelly legs time, Andrew. Fun. 
just noticing that the cliff has got a sheen of blue and we're wondering if that's the violets. I'll have to go and have a look when we're over there. Or it could be spring squill. Back towards Gudrivi. What a beautiful, beautiful day. I'd have been in the stream, darling. In front of the wet paw prints. Some quite chunky steps are going up there, quite steep. Have you got jelly legs yet? No, I'm alright at the moment. Oh, I hate you. So it was spring squirrel giving that blue haze. Beautiful. Views today are fantastic. We've got a really lucky day today. The weather is phenomenal. Where do you think we can see up that coast? Well, we can certainly see up to Niki. I think you can see up to Travaux's Head from here just about. Did In you? the opposite direction, you can certainly see down to St Ives. Probably see about, about 40, 40 to 50 miles today. No. So this is Kajik Cove. Beautiful. The waves are just breaking. Seagulls are enjoying it. I don't think that beach has seen a footprint for years. Reaching for tree that at low tide you can walk along the sand. So we're now past Easter Day, so we can't take the doggies onto the beach, much as I'd love to, and I'm sure they would too. Otherwise, turn right up a lane which runs above the beach. Follow the main road inland, passing the public conveniences. So we've just had a bite to eat in the Patree Farms, very, very nice. We're going to wander down to the harbour and have a look around now, have a little explore. The pepper pot was built in 1846 as a sign to passing ships so they knew where they were. So it's a lower pilot's lookout, the dead man's hut. This is the macabre name by which it is still known locally, derives from when it was used as a temporary mortuary whenever a body was going up by the sea. Oh! Patrith Harbour is still a working harbour with plenty of fishing boats using it on a regular basis. It used to be used in the mining industry. By 1827, Patrith was an important Cornish port sending copper ore to Swansea for smelting and returning with Welsh coal to power local mining industry, peaking in 1840 until copper trade collapsed in 1886 and the port was almost bankrupt. <coughs> Now there's houses. Do you prefer coal or houses? Coal. Turn right here across a stream. The remains of the line to hail can be seen on the west with the cable wet incline. This was 1716 feet long and rose 240 feet. Then left under a low bridge into Clemfeden Terrace. which leads directly into Primrose Terrace. Take a sharp right at Glenfeedon Cottage to pass castellated Glenfeedon Castle and immediately veer right onto a gentle rising public footpath. Turn right at the T-junction and right again onto a concrete farmyard, Dutchy College. Turn right onto a farm track. There are various obstacles on this track, not least when I last went this way, a stretch of ankle deep muddy cow dung. Dutchy College no longer exists. The council sold it off to a development company and they've put in loads of holiday homes and it's now a beautiful, beautiful holiday spot called Gwellan Moor. And I don't expect there's a load of cow dung there anymore. It says mining trail to Hilly one and a half miles. Well, the car park itself before that, so probably about half a mile to go. Just be a little bit careful because the road is quite busy just before you get back to the car park. So I've really enjoyed our walk today. Yet again, another spectacular walk with some fantastic views down to St Ives, up to Padstow. What did you think? Well, the walk combines both aspects because you've got the woodland section to start with and the time of year we've chosen to go is April and the bluebells are out there. It's looking it's stunning. Phenomenal. And then you come out onto the coast and again, we've picked a fantastic day for it today. Yeah. Sport for choice with uh, so many beautiful views. 
And the pub lunch was brilliant. Pub lunch was great. Slow amble back to the car. It's perfect actually, isn't it? You lots. do most of the exercise first and then you have your lunch and you amble back to the car. There's lots of amenities in Portreef as well. Plenty of Pasty places shop. to uh, get an ice cream if you wanted to as yeah. well and toilets and things like that. So uh, so I think I'd give this walker... I'd give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, I agree. Very Fantastic. recommended.